Hello and welcome to A Plunder Basics. I'm Guy and today I'm going to be painting a orange and yellow gradient underneath some windows for the six firelock game six rate. Windows are kind of a unique thing in Blood and Plunder because they're on a lot of the ships and they don't have a, a usually a style guide of what they would want to paint. Um, you'll see a lot of them that they're, they should be black on the inside because, you know, it's going to be dark in there if, we, if a game is taking place during the day. They're certainly not going to have uh, any candles or, or lanterns burning. But after painting a bunch of them black, the problem you run into in this game is lots of other things want to be black too, such as the trim, the uh, uh, cannons, the little inside port around the cannon wants to be black. Um, so having two things that are black near each other kind of depreciates what this should be, which is a, a window to the interior. So uh, I started painting them a orange and yellow gradient to just uh, go from the two. Here, I'm gonna flip, op flip over the ship to give you an idea of what I'm going to do. Let me see, I have the camera zoomed in a little bit. So this is the effect I'm going for. It's kind of, uh, looks like something might be burning in there. Um, a light uh, coming from the ceiling thereabouts and, and going down. Not super accurate for a ship, but it does look really nice. And that's what we're doing on this one. All right, so I'm using two types of paint. I'm using a bright yellow and a bright orange. Specifically, try using colors you do not have anywhere else here to help with the effect. <clears throat> using some regular brushes. The undercoat, as you see, I made white. I, it's not a great coat of white. If I wanted to, this to remain white, I would paint it several more times, but I find that, uh, and you can do a, a white primer, although I, I usually steer towards a brown primer on ships because it makes everything a lot easier. You, this can be any white that you put in here. This is actually the same white that I used as the basis for the shells up here. So I was painting them anyways and I just painted the interior. And you want a bright color because Oh, and you, uh, because you're going to be doing a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. So what I do is I start on the orange and you gotta, you have to make sure, although I would usually go from the bottle cap on these, you have to go from a palette. It's, uh, it's just a lot easier because what we're going to do is we're going to be going from yellow to orange constantly to make it so it has like a nice gradient. It's really a lot of fun to do. So here, let's start start with our orange. And I make sure that on the initial one, it's uh, it's okay to have it be, I already finished the, the decoration around it. It's okay to, for it to be a little sloppy and to get a lot of paint in there. And I'm just uh, bringing it up and then I'm gonna do some, make clean off the brush. Now we're gonna add the plain yellow. It is a beautiful day today, by the way, here. So as you see, I'm just uh, working with the yellow and I start, when I, when I start, I always have like a fully loaded brush at the top. These windows are so, so, um, I don't know, weird to work with because they're actually little bowls <laughs> in the model. <laughs> so, oh, that was a little bit more, too much orange there. A lot more yellow. So they're little bowls in the model. And... The problem with them being little bowls, the the great covers are little bowls too. Um, 
But the problem with them being little bulls in that depending on where you're sitting from them, you're going to have a hard time covering every one of the interior surfaces with your paint. So what I'm doing now is I definitely have, oh, and I did this one backwards. I did orange on the bottom and yellow on top. Oh, no, 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 that's how it's supposed to be. Brighter up here, darker down there. Um, <laughs> I'm second guessing myself. So you want to make sure you just have the orange and then you just kind of um, bring one color into the, each, each other as you go. I clean off the brush a lot when doing it, like you just saw. But now, um, I want to make sure that I get all angles around painted. Because I swear, you'll get to the end where you, you'll think you're done and you'll see like a little windows pane that does not have anything in it. So this, this thing that I just did really quick over here is also called um, uh, some sort of wet blending is what I've heard the cool kids talk about. Uh, and it's really easy to do. It's just mixing two paints, doing a gradient. Um, it's a lot of fun to try on other stuff. And you don't really need it a lot of the time though. Um, a lot of the time that you might think you might want to do some, some wet blending, um, because it is so, so easy to do, um, that, but you don't really need to. Like I, I tried it initially on these, these little fern things, but I liked the look of it having, um, just some blue paint on it instead. <laughs> And it does take a while to like get used to doing gradient, but these windows are also a great place to practice it because they're, um, they each have these little cells. So another way to do this is to look for the cells being um, fully a color or not. So you can say like the top three up here should have the most yellow in it and then the next you know two on the little sides those should have a little bit of um orange but mostly yellow and then you can say oh these two in the middle they need to be like 50 percent yellow So yeah, that one's done. It looks pretty good. And then we'll do the next one. Um, if it is one of your first times trying this, then I would definitely recommend not to being finished painting around it. So you see, I'm using this, this larger brush. Um, and that's because kind of with a uh, wet blending, Painting, uh, painting with a more robust brush is usually a lot easier uh, because that lets you carry more paint to the model. In this case, you know that's that's what I'm doing is I'm putting as much paint as I can out here and slowly just bringing it up the window panes. And then by the time I add yellow, I'm adding a, a large blob of that yellow concentration. Oh, I went outside the line. And then using that concentration to, to blend with the, the stuff that I have that, uh, from bringing the orange there. So you can do it with a, a smaller brush. If you're doing um, a larger, I mean a smaller area, it's going to be a lot easier. I would not recommend there's these, uh, the things like the portholes, um, 
the win like windows that are on the deck. I would not do that with these, like uh, like for the sloop or other smaller ships that have like a, a little porthole. I would always do that, just like black, because we usually expect a hole to be black. So one thing you can do too when you're doing this is on your palette actually have an area where you are you like put the colors near each other and you have an area where you are mixing the colors together so you can get that that color that should be in the center this is a terrible yellow the part the reason why you wanted this to be white when you first um like either primered white or you have some sort of white paint on it is usually your, your yellows are always thin colors. They're always hard to work with. Um, I found that the best way to do yellow is to have, if you want a bright, bright like daisy yellow, is to have a white paint underneath it and then you're putting yellow paint on that. Since with yellows you really see through it a lot of the time. So that, that is that I was just touching up and I wanted it to be mainly bright. Let me bring that yellow down a little bit more in here. And that, that is our quick and easy very um, gradient for our, our colors. Kind of fun. Now I'll add a finished picture right here for after it dries. Um, the step after this would be to take your metallic paint and uh, paint the windowsill. Usually you want to use like a brass paint. But yeah, that's that's it. Uh, oh, oh, I am drinking some wine today. I forget what type. And I want to do a shout out to uh, Corey and Nikki. Um, congratulations. I will see you guys at the wedding. So this has been a blood and, and pigment plunder basics about a video gradient or a, a, a video about a color gradient for some windows. Have fun out there and keep playing.